Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Let's look at the last subchapter in electrochemistry, which is electrolytic cell. We start with the concept of electrolysis. Electrolysis is a chemical process that uses electricity for a non-spontaneous redox reaction to occur. Electrolytic cell is an electrochemical cell that undergoes a redox reaction when electrical energy is applied. It consists of two electrodes, anode and cathode, that immerse in an electrolyte and connected to a source of direct current. A setup of an electrolytic cell is as this diagram. Electrolytic cell is consists of two electrodes that immerse in an electrolyte. Both electrodes then connected with a power supply that consists of emitter, positive electrode known as anode, while negative electrode known as cathode. The electrolyte consists of free moving positive and negative ions the negative ion attracted to anode while positive ion attracted to cathode electron is traveled through the wire from anode to cathode negative ion will oxidize at anode while positive ion will reduce at cathode Ion are said to be discharged at both electrodes. Now, look at the difference between voltaic cell and electrolytic cell. Voltaic cell use a spontaneous reaction to generate electrical energy, while electrolytic cell use electrical energy to derive not spontaneous reaction. Electron generated at anode for voltaic cell while electron removed from anode for electrolytic cell. Electron consumed at cathode for voltaic cell while electron supplied to cathode for electrolytic cell. Both voltaic cell and electrolytic cell, the electron flow from anode to cathode. The difference is for voltaic cell, Anode is a negative terminal while electrolytic cell anode is positive terminal. Next, look at the factor that affecting the product of electrolysis. First factor is standard reduction or electrode potential of the species. Second factor is concentration of species either it is dilute solution or concentrated solution. Third factor is a nature of electrode which is referring to inert electrode for example carbon or active electrode such as copper electrode. For the first factor, product from the electrolysis is determined by comparing the electrode potential of species given. More positive the electrode potential, more easy to reduce, and vice versa. Or you may use your previous knowledge from SPM level, which use this table, but with a bit different when we are not using H plus and OH minus anymore, but we are referring to water. Let's look at this video for the first case of electrolysis, which is molten salt.
Electrolysis is the decomposition of a compound in a solution or in a molten state brought about by the passage of an electric current through it. An electrolysis, a substance in molten state or in a solution which conducts electricity, is called electrolyte. In molten sodium chloride, sodium ions and chlorine ions are freely moving. Two platinum rods would be used as electrodes. The electrode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery will become anode and the electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery will be called cathode. The apparatus is set up as shown in the figure. When electricity passes through the molten sodium chloride, sodium ions, cations, move to the cathode, negative electrode. Similarly, chlorine ions, anions, move to the anode, positive electrode. At the cathode, sodium ions receive electrons from the cathode and discharge into sodium atoms, and then sodium atoms deposit at the cathode. Similarly, chlorine ions give off electrons to the anode and discharge into chlorine atoms, and the chlorine atoms combine with each other to become chlorine molecules. Chlorine gas is evolved. As a net result, we get sodium as cathode product and chlorine gas as anode product. From this video, we can conclude that in the molten sodium chloride, it consists of sodium ion and chloride ion. Please take note that the phases for both ion are liquid. Since chloride ion is a negative charge ion, it will discharge at anode. Chloride ion will oxidize and produce chlorine gas. At cathode, sodium ion will attract it and reduce to form sodium liquid. For this case, the product is in liquid phase because to produce molten salt, it needs high temperature. Next, electrolysis of water. At anode, water will oxidize and form oxygen gas while at cathode water will reduce and produce hydrogen gas overall reaction of electrolysis of water is two mole of hydrogen gas one mole of oxygen gas here i want to share the tips to write a balanced equation in electrolysis when it's involving water. At anode, water will produce oxygen gas. The tips to remember it, a vowel letter of electrode produce vowel letter of gas. Oxidation occur at anode, so electron is released. To balance the negative charge of electron, we use the ion from water with the positive charge which is proton then we balance the overall equation at cathode water will produce hydrogen gas since reduction reaction except electron so, we write electron on the left side. Negative charge of electron will balance with the negative charge ion produced from the water, which is hydroxide ion. Finally, balance the equation. Next, look at the Second factor that affected the product of electrolysis, which is concentration of species. For dilute solution, first, we need to identify the species present in the solution. For example, dilute sodium chloride consists sodium ion, chloride ion, and water. Chloride ion and water attracted to anode, while sodium ion and water attracted to cathode. At anode, 
when we compare the standard reduction potential for the both species chloride and water more negative standard reduction potential easy to oxidize so water will oxidize at anode at cathode by referring to the standard reduction potential for the both species more positive electrode potential easy to reduce so water will reduce at cathode the reaction involved at cathode water reduce to form hydrogen gas at anode water oxidize to form oxygen gas to balance the equation we need to multiply the equation at cathode with 2 to cancel out the 4 electron for the both half equation again cathode produce hydrogen gas while anode produce oxygen gas overall reaction for this equation when 4 hydroxide ion combined with 4 proton produce 4 mole of water so when we deduct 6 mole of water with 4 mole of water finally we have the overall equation 2 mole of water produce 1 mole of oxygen gas and 2 mole of hydrogen gas next for the case of concentrated solution, in our syllabus, we focus only on concentrated sodium chloride solution. So, start with identify the species present in the solution. There are sodium ion, chloride ion, and water. Chloride ion and water attracted to anode, while Sodium ion and water attracted to cathode. At anode, in concentrated solution, chloride ions will be oxidized because of its high concentration. At anode, water will reduce just like in the case of dilute solution. So, we can see the difference of product in electrolysis between dilute and concentrated solution only happen at anode. Overall reaction involved at cathode water will reduce while at anode chloride will oxidize. Hydrogen gas produce at cathode while chlorine gas produce at anode. Next, we continue with electrolysis of sodium sulfate solution. As the previous example, we start with identify the species present in the solution. There are sodium ion, sulfate ion, and water. Sulfate ion and water will attract to anode, while sodium ion and water attract to cathode. At anode, sulfate ion is an oxo anion, so it will not oxidize because sulfur already at its highest oxidation state. So, at anode, water will oxidize. At cathode, since water has more positive electrode potential, so water will reduce. The overall reaction involved water reduce at cathode and water also oxidize at anode hydrogen gas produced at cathode while oxygen gas produced at anode then we will have the final overall equation two mole of water produce one mole of oxygen gas and two mole of hydrogen gas next we continue 
quiz discussion on the third factor that affect the product in electrolysis, which is nature of electrode. First, electrolysis using inert electrode. Inert electrode, for example, graphite or carbon and platinum, this type of electrode do not involve in the reaction. For example, electrolysis of copper sulfate solution using platinum electrode. At anode, water will oxidize to form oxygen gas. At cathode, copper ion will reduce to form copper metal. Please take note that copper ion selected to be reduced because it has more positive electrode potential compared with water. Next, for the electrolysis of copper sulfate solution by using copper electrode which is an active electrode. Active electrode such as metal in anode will dissolve to form metallic ions. If the electrolyte contains the ions of the same metal, in this case at anode, copper electrode will oxidize to form copper ion. At cathode, copper ion will reduce to form copper solid. Next, we continue with the last part in this subchapter, which is Faraday's first law. Faraday's first law states that amount of substance produced at each electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of charge flowing through the cell. Q is an electrical charge in coulombs, while M is the mass of substance discharge. For the Faraday constant, one mole of electron equivalent with one Faraday and also equivalent with 96,500 coulomb. To calculate the electrical charge, which is Q, the current multiple with time taken in unit second. Q, IT. Q, IT. Let's look at the example of problem solving using Faraday's first law. First example. A constant current of 2.50 ampere is passed through the dilute magnesium sulfate for 30 minutes. Calculate the volume of gas produced at anode at standard temperature and pressure or STP. To solve this problem, we start with calculating the quantity of charge which is multiply the current with time taken in second. So we have 4,500 coulomb. We need to write the half equation at anode that produce oxygen gas to know or to identify how many electrons involved to the production of oxygen gas. Because one mole of oxygen gas needs four mole of electron. Four mole of electron equivalent with four farad, which is equal to 386,000 coulomb. So we compare or make a stoichiometry to find the mole of oxygen gas produced from the amount of quantity of charge here. So 386,000 coulomb equivalent with one mole of oxygen. So when you have 4,500 coulomb, it will produce 0 0.0117 mole of oxygen. At STP, one mole of oxygen occupy 22.4 liter. So when you have 0 0.0117 mole of oxygen, it will occupy 0 0.26 liter of oxygen. Second example, in an electrolysis experiment, 1.87 ampere of current is passed through an aqueous solution of zinc ion. Calculate the time in minutes required to produce 1.62 gram of zinc from this experiment. Given that the molar mass of zinc is 65.4 gram per mole. To answer this question, first, from the given mass of zinc, 
we calculate the mole of C. Write the balance equation that involves at cathode, which is produce zinc solid. Do the comparison. From this equation, we know that 1 mole of zinc produced from 2 mole of electron. 2 mole of electron equivalent with 2 farad. And 2 farad is equivalent with 193,000 coulomb. We do the stoichiometric comparison to calculate how many quantity of charge produced from 0.0248 mole of zinc. From this calculation, we know that 4,786.4 coulomb produce. Implement or substitute the value of quantity of charge into the formula Q equal to IT. So, time taken T is equal to Q over I. So, time taken in the formula of QIT is in second. So, you need to convert the time taken in second to minutes as needed in the question. So, we will have the final answer is 42.7 minutes. That's all for this chapter.